look at my butternut squash look at that and um, that one I've hand pollinated using a male butternut squash flower this one here I have just hand pollinated that using a squash sorry a courgette flower I have no idea whether maybe it's a little bit late or even if it'll work what I'm going to do because there are other butternut squash coming I'm going to have a little go and see if I can cross pollinate them with courgettes because I don't seem to have any male butternut squash flowers now if any of you know anything about them, will it work? Will it not work? I have no idea. So let's have a little look. Can you see? Let's go this way slowly. I've got absolutely loads of courgette flowers on several of the plants. Not all of them are male, obviously. Let's have a look. In fact, actually, I might, I might have just picked the final one off there. Can I see any more? Nope, there's no more there, but I might have some here. Oh, I haven't got loads. Look on that plant there. I've got absolutely stacks. So what I'm going to do, as I say, I'm going to take a couple off and I'm going to go down the garden now and I'm going to pollinate all of the little, little squash flowers that I can find. And if it works, brilliant. I've got nothing to lose because I say there's no male um, squash flowers anyway. Look at these peas. They're fabulous, aren't they? As I say, I only put them in for, for shoots. And I've got a lovely crop of peas there. In fact, actually, some can be a little bit bit past it maybe they'll do for seed next year they're fine my other butternut squash is over there let's go and have a look as I say I don't think I've got hang on a second I don't think I've got any fruit on that at all I had a load at the beginning of the year but of course they weren't pollinated so I don't know it looks as though something's coming I don't know how long these things take to develop Look at those gorgeous sweet peas. I could do with getting out here and cutting loads off because there's loads turned to seed. And of course, if I don't take all the seed heads off, it'll stop producing flowers. I know we have them until ooh, late September, sometimes early October, when, well, I think it was Monji Don, his, his have all long since gone. Look at those dahlias. Aren't they so pretty? Have a look at that. Beautiful thing. Lello. I can speak properly, really, honestly. Yellow cucumber. I had one today. A friend came over for lunch today and I took one off the plant and we shared it. Look, all a bit powdery mildewy now. That's probably, oh no, there's one there, look. I was going to say it's probably the last one, but no. Seem to be a few more coming. And then I've got all the new ones in the pot starting to come, but they're not, they're not the crystal lemons in the pot. They're actually, um, they're a long one. I can't remember. You know, I should make some notes. You can see the autumn is starting to creep in though. Some of the plants are going over. Let's go over that way a bit. Look at those angel wings. Can you remember I said that one there? It was just a no no, the bit the wood in the border was snapped off. I accidentally snapped that piece off, stuck it in there, and it's all rooted and grown. Look at the avocados. Down there's the avocado. There's another one there. I'm assuming because the two different coloured leaves, but the two different coloured varieties. Look at the rim. I do jump about, don't I? Look at the jasmine. Again, that was just pieces I, I snapped off, stuck in pots and kept them watered. There's my big angel wings down there. Beautiful. Really, really pretty. The Acer poor thing is looking a bit scorched. Another month or so and it'll be beautiful. It goes to blood, blood red. It's absolutely lovely. Very green, isn't it? How's the uh, rain been for you lot? Have you had much? Look at my neighbour's apple tree. I'm going to go a bit closer so you can see the apple tree. It's a quick wander around the garden and back again, isn't it? Look at that. Can you see? Look at the fruit on that. It's amazing. And I don't actually think they do anything with it. I've seen them shovel it up and put it in the bin. We get loads dropped this side. Of course, we use them up, but what a blooming crying waste they could go to the food bank with that. Let's go this way. Look at my tomatoes are all starting to come now. They're just starting to get hints of colour. Again, we still haven't had a glut, which is absolutely fine for me. The sweet corn, I've got some nice cobs of corn on there coming. I thought we weren't going to get any, but no, they've come. Look at that onion flower. I'm waiting for that to pop. I want to see that as a flower. And this beautiful climbing rose here could do with deading, deadheading as well. That will flower right through to December. 
might get a bit shabby looking but the flowers always look gorgeous on that right through to december could do with cleaning the scruffy corner again goodness knows how quickly it gets all scruffy i'm clearly a scruffy so and so let's have a look look down here got all sorts the celeriac really look good not so good this side but they went in later there are some roots coming let's have a look i said we're getting some roots on them but the ones on the other side of the garden are massive really looking good all sorts of things are nibbling at the poor um, sprouting broccoli but you know what i reckon that's part of the life cycle let's go that way the lilies but they were eaten to death by a uh, lily beetle and it didn't affect the flowers at all so i'm kind of hoping it's going to be the same look at that beautiful gladioli they're gorgeous in salads they really really do look pretty this one here lemon scented geranium that smells absolutely lovely and if you keep it dry through the winter you can leave it out in the cold as long as it doesn't get wet look at that gorgeous yellow hossa isn't it lovely yeah it's starting to go over now it's starting to get a little bit translucent it's starting to fade a bit but that's fine look at this isn't that lovely i've got some really nice stuff in the garden it's not all edible you know i do like to grow other things too Let's go over here and see what we've got. Scruffy con a reindeer poo. Look at that chard. I have picked and picked and picked and picked. It doesn't seem to, I don't know. I pick and following day, a great big leaf there. I pick that off. A couple of days later, another great big leaf. My lovely tree kale. Look at those uh, Jerusalem artichokes. They've really picked up with all the rain we've had recently. It's spitting and spotting now, actually. So let's do one little round the garden go slow it all needs a really good tidy up it's not been tidied up for a while so I could do with coming out and having a really good tidying up session it's lovely here really sheltered with that big hedge at the back it's not our hedge that's a great big hedge that belongs to the church at the back of us that big big hedge that really shelters everything we get some amazing sunsets over the top of that I love that yellow hedge Right, we'll leave that for now. I'll catch you later.